In this video, I'm going to show you how to rationalize denominators with two terms. To eliminate radicals in the denominator, we can multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. To find the conjugate, we just take the same two terms, but we switch the sign between them. So the conjugate of this denominator is 1 plus root x. I'm going to multiply by 1 plus root x over 1 plus root x, and then we'll evaluate. 2 times 1 is 2, then plus 2 root x. And then the denominator is a difference of squares, so this is just 1 squared minus root x squared. And we'll simplify a bit more, so that's 2 plus 2 root x over 1 minus x. And there we have it, squaring the, squaring the root caused it to go away, and we have a fraction without any roots in the denominator. Here's a more complicated fraction, um, but the process is still the same. We're just going to multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. The conjugate is just going to flip that sign from a plus to a minus, so we'll be multiplying by root x minus 2 minus 3 on the top and the bottom. So let's carry out the multiplication. 3x root x minus 2 minus 9x all over the difference of squares. So that's root x minus 2 squared minus 3 squared. And we'll just simplify a bit more. So 3x root x minus 2 minus 9x over, this becomes just x minus 2, the root goes away, then minus 9. And one last round of simplification to simplify that denominator, x minus 11. And there we have it, we're done. We've gotten rid of the root in the denominator. Here's one last example of rationalizing these denominators. We're subtracting these two fractions. So before we can do that, we need to rationalize each denominator. Uh, for the first fraction, let's rewrite that again. So that's 2x over root 2x plus 1 minus 1. And we're going to multiply by the conjugate of this denominator. So we'll just flip that negative sign to a positive sign and multiply by root 2x plus 1 plus 1 on the top and the bottom. And then for the other fraction, we'll also rewrite that, x over root 2x plus 1 plus 1. Now this time we have a plus here, so we're going to flip that into a minus. So times root 2x plus 1 minus 1 over root 2x plus 1 minus 1. Now we are ready to go ahead and carry out our multiplications. So multiplying here on the top, we've got 2x root 2x plus 1 plus 2x. And then on the bottom, that's just the difference of squares. The squares get rid, gets rid of the root, so we've just got 2x plus 1 um, minus 1 square is just 1 again. And here we've got a same situation in the other fraction. So multiplying on top, we've got x root 2x plus 1 minus x. And on the bottom, um, this is again a difference of squares. So 2x plus 1 minus 1. Uh, right off the bat, we see that plus 1 minus 1 cancels. So let's get rid of that. And then uh, since these fractions have the same denominator, we can just go ahead and subtract them. So everything is going to be over 2x now. Um, so we've got 2x times the root minus x times the root. So that's like 2 minus 1. So just x times the root of 2x plus 1. And then 2x minus negative x. So that's really 2x plus x for plus 3x. And lastly, to simplify, we see there's an x in everything. So let's just cancel out that x and get 2x plus 1 plus 3 over 2. And there we have it. We're done. No 
No radicals in the denominator, and both fractions combined into a single fraction quite nicely. This technique of multiplying by the conjugate to rationalize an expression will come up in more advanced topics too, such as dividing complex numbers.